Hello, today we're going to look at Class Notebook. So it's a fantastic learning tool. We're going to go through some of the things you can do to improve teaching and learning using OneNote Class Notebook. But first, where do you find Class Notebook? How do you get to it once you're inside Office 365? So this is the Office 365 homepage. In fact, you can get to Class Notebook a number of different ways. So you can go straight into the app, Class Notebook app, and create Class Notebooks from there. You can also create class teams, and this will automatically create a class notebook for each of your classes. And you can also go in via SharePoint or OneDrive and create them from there. In this example, I'm going to show you uh, when we use teams, but there are other ways of getting in there if you want to have a play about with those as well. So I'm going to go into teams and I've got a new class team here and you can create these teams manually, so you can use uh, the Add Team button, you can create a team, choose a class team, and then you can give the team a name, you can add students and teachers to it, and that will create you a class here. Now if you do want to go through and create all the classes manually, um, you can give us a call and we can help you um, set up some MIS um, integration so we can automatically pull out those lists of classes and students and teachers and create these sites for you automatically. So once you've got your class, if we go into uh, this class here, 9x English 1, so there's some things already populated on here, and um, we've got a conversation tab. Now this tab you can turn on and off, it's entirely up to you. Um, so you can lock down these sites if you feel that students might um, not use them appropriately. You've got a files area for um, for SharePoint uh, documents, so any sort of resources you want to share with this particular group. And Class Notebook, this is where we get access to our Class Notebook for this group. So this is our OneNote file, and um, we've done pretty much all of this so far out of the box using OneNote tools that you can use in any OneNote file. Now what we'll go through today is some of the, um, some of the Class Notebook features. But if you're interested in using OneNote, um, we'll also have some other resources on just how to use OneNote in general. You can see I've, I've created a section here called Of Mice and Men. I've got a number of different pages on here. I've got my introduction. I've got some uh, video clips. So I've embedded some video clips on here. I've got a worksheet that I've scanned in. And I've also got my first assignment. Now with Class Notebook, each student gets their own area so their own section down this left hand side. So we've got Andrew, Ben and Susan in this class. And as a teacher, I can see everybody's area, but the student can only see their own. And the, uh, the content areas and the collaboration spaces, all the students can see, but they can't, they can't edit the content library. So this Of Mice and Men section is some resources that as a teacher, I'm putting on the site for the students. Now the students can look at these resources and they can work from them, but they can't edit these pages. If they want to edit any pages in this OneNote file, they go to their own, their own area, they can create their own pages, they can create their own sections. In addition to that, I can also send out some work to those students and put it inside their area. So you can see initially we've got these sections here and you can create additional ones if you want to. But as a student, I can only edit these areas that the teachers provided for me and I can also create additional pages in here. So if you've got an assignment as a teacher, for example this lesson one assignment, how do we let students know they've got an assignment and how do they actually edit this page and create their response to that assignment? So this particular assignment I've created just as a page here that everybody can see but they can't edit. What I can do is I can use the class notebook tools to distribute that page into all the student areas. So they've all got a copy of it, they can complete it and then I can go in and I can mark it. So across the top here, across the ribbon, we've got class notebook. And inside this area here, we've got some extra teaching and learning tools that we can use inside class notebook. So this, this option here, the first option is distribute a page. So if we've got a page like this lesson one assignment, we can distribute it into each student's area. So they, they can have an area under homework, maybe if it's a homework, and we can put this lesson one assignment inside that area for each student without having to copy and paste it 30 times for all the students in the class. 
So if I click on distribute page, I can then select which area I want this to go into. So this is a homework, so I'm going to select homework and distribute. Great, so that page is now distributed to each student. And if I go inside Andrews and I go to homework, he's got lesson one assignments here now. And he's got a copy of it that he can now edit and put his response back onto me. So has Ben and so has Susan as real members of this class. If I go to Ben and go to homework, he also has this page here, lesson one assignment. And on this page, he can put his own response. Now, as a teacher, it's quite time consuming to go into each student, go to homework, select lesson one assignment, and then put my comments and marks on the page. So another great tool inside Class Notebook, again, from the Class Notebook tab, is Review Student Work. And we, when we press this button, we can select an assignment that we've handed out to them and collect it back in. So I'm going to Review Student Assignment, and it's in the Homework section, and the page was called Lesson 1 Assignment. It now then gives me a list of all the students in my class, and I can flick between the students to see their response. So Andrew's not done anything on this yet. If I uh, select Ben, I can see he's typed in my response. And on here, I could, uh, if I wanted to, I could put a sticker on the page for him. Well done, Ben. And that's my response to him. I could annotate this, I could highlight text, I could give him some feedback. This could be coursework, it could be going back and forth, it doesn't have to be um, a homework or a particular assignment. It could even just be lesson work, um, maybe a, a questionnaire or a quiz you could hand out to them. You could do it in exactly the same way. So let's have a look at um, some other functionality of Class Notebook, which again is particularly useful. So if we go to the View tab, you'll see you get this immersive reader option. And whichever page the student or the member of staff is on, if they click Immersive Reader, it will go into a reading mode. It will minimise all images and just show the clear text on the page, which can then, which can then be read out. With other characters in, the story. in addition to reading those words out, we can set some preferences on here. So we can set the text size. We can select the font. We can also select high visibility and um, high contrast screens as well for any students that find it difficult to see the text on the page. Under here we can also um, emphasize syllables in the text. Same with uh, nouns and verbs and adjectives. And we can also focus lines so we can focus the student on a particular line. There is evidence that the immersive reader has improved writing and reading comprehension for students. It improves writing uh, for the students because they're able to hear their own writing read aloud and it helps them identify errors. It can also help struggling readers by helping them read material that you've provided for them um, as resources and actually have it read out to them if they're struggling to read the text. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can use these same tools inside Class Notebook to set assignments inside Microsoft Teams so that the assignments can be graded in a more formal process. I hope you found that useful. And if you've got any questions, feel free to send us a tweet or just uh, drop us an email. At Cloud Design Box, we can help you create these Class Notebooks automatically from your MIS data and we can also help you get teachers using it and we can support you uh, through that teaching and learning process.